Welcome back and we're discussing the ministry gifts or the administrative gifts of Jesus Christ from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 7 to 11 and he talks about the five gifts of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. In the last video we spoke about the ministry of apostles and now I want to talk about the ministry of prophets. We need to be clear in our understanding with regards to the difference between the Old Testament prophet and the New Testament prophet. And so in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, in verse 1 and 2, it says this, After God spoke long ago in various portions and in various ways to our ancestors through the prophets, in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he created the world. Now, we understand this, that in the Old Testament, God spoke by the prophets. The prophets were the mouthpiece of God. If the king uh, at that time wanted to hear from God, he would call for the prophet. And the prophet would come and declare what God was saying to the nation. That was the minister in the Old Testament. One man who would have the Holy Spirit come upon him at a point in time to bring to him what God was saying the Word of God. Even that Old Testament prophet did not have the Spirit of God abiding upon him uh, all the time. It was only at certain points in time when God would speak through that man. Now, in the New Testament, the scripture is very clear from that passage we've just read, that God in these last days has spoken by His Son. Now, Jesus is declared to be the Spirit of prophecy. We know in the scriptures, 1 John chapter 2, uh, verse 27, that John says, No man, you have, no, you have need that no man teach you, but the Holy Spirit will teach you. So the New Testament prophet, the word, the Greek word for prophet there, um, prophetes, simply means an inspired preacher. In the New Testament, every believer can hear from God. We don't need a prophet as in the Old Testament. God doesn't speak through one specific individual at a point in time. God speaks to every person who has received His Spirit. And, and so Paul makes this very clear in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And he makes reference to the fact that in verse 9, as it is written, No eye has seen or ear heard, neither has it entered the mind, uh, the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. But he goes on to say in verse 10, Yet God has revealed these things to us by the Spirit. So every New Testament believer, having received the Spirit of God, has the capacity now to understand spiritual truths. So he says, For the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of of God. For who among men knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man that is within him? So too no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. So no person can understand the things of God without the spirit of God. So until a person is regenerated and they're born again and they receive the spirit of God uh, and, and join to their spirit, they cannot understand the things of God. Once we've been born again, we receive the Spirit of God, then we're able to understand. So he says in verse 12, For we have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may know the things that are freely given to us by God. And we speak about these things not with words taught us by human wisdom, but with those taught us by the Spirit, explaining spiritual things to spiritual people. The unbeliever does not receive the things of the Spirit of God for they are foolishness to him and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. And so what we've got to understand is the New Testament believer can understand the things of God. God can communicate by the Spirit and God will speak to every single one of his children. So we don't need to go to a certain man to hear the voice of God. So the prophet in the New Testament is clearly not the same as in the Old Testament. Rather, 
the prophet in the New Testament is simply an inspired preacher. And so we, we see this uh, in, in the scriptures that in 1 Corinthians 12, that God has set first in the church apostles, which we spoke to in the last video. Those who take foundational principles and lay the foundation in the lives of every member of the church. Then, secondly, he says, prophets. So, having laid that foundation, the prophets came, inspired preachers, we see in the book of Acts, would come and would, would encourage the, the believers and the church to continue in those foundational principles as taught to them by the apostles. Then would come, thirdly, teachers who would establish the church upon sound doctrine. So the Old Testament prophet is different to the New Testament prophet. We also have this other confusing aspect of the gift of prophecy. In 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12, Paul talks about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now these five gifts we're talking about are gifts given by Jesus. The nine gifts in 1 Corinthians 12 are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. These are different. And so the gift of prophecy is not the ministry of the New Testament prophet, neither even the Old Testament prophet. And so he talks about, uh, in verse 10, that he's given these gifts to one, the performance of miracles, to another, prophecy. Now, clearly there was confusion around this. So in 1 Corinthians 14, Paul elaborates on the whole aspect of the gift of prophecy and the gift of tongues. So he says, for the one speaking in a tongue, he says, I'd rather desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. Because the one speaking in a tongue doesn't speak to people, but he's speaking to God. And he speaks mysteries in the Spirit. But the one who prophesies speaks to people for their strengthening, their encouragement, and their consolation. So the gift of prophecy is quite simply when we speak, God speaking through a person by the gift of the Spirit to the church, it's to these three things. Speaking, strengthening, encouragement, and consolation into the church. So we have the Old Testament prophet, the, 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 the one who the Spirit of God would come upon at a certain point in time to speak the Word of God. The New Testament prophet is the one who is an inspired preacher. And the gift of prophecy is to build up, to encourage, to edify, to comfort the church of Jesus Christ. And so the New Testament prophet, we, we've got to clearly understand, is an inspired preacher who encourages the church to continue on this foundation given to us by the apostles.